All right, I'm gonna do some updates on my tanks. Um, so that's the aquatic system here. Uh, the tomato plant I kind of trimmed. I have it hanging kind of off to the side there. Um, my broccoli plant is flowered out here. Uh, the alcohols are doing good. I had some strawberries from outside and they're taking off pretty quick. So also let them kind of do whatever they want. In the back, kind of hard to see the pepper plants that are flowering out and stuff like that. I think I need to raise our light. That one's coming up over the light there. So, and the chives, we moved over here. And I don't think they're liking so much light, so I put this over it and it seemed to grow a little bit better. Um, just put a bunch of duckweed in here and some frog bits. So, they're Crawdads are doing good. Uh, I added an air stone to the tank. Because I got an air pump that has four fittings, so I got to run into uh, three of my tanks. Uh, that's all that's really new with this. I mean, it's doing pretty good. The uh, radial flow filter is doing pretty decent. It's doing a good job of keeping stuff out of there. And kind of separate stuff out. I just sucked it out today. Um, my 30 gallon shrimp beta tank. There's Henry, the first of his name. So I just took all the duckweed out of this and put it in the other tank. Let's see him. Oh, right. He's got a nice little blue on his tail. Like if you look at his, he has his tail all flared out. But. And uh, it's cherry shrimp. You can see some in there. There's a few in there. Um, the main thing I did with this, well, one, I took as much duckweed out as I could, and then I wanted to try something out. I'm using an air stone for a CO2 diffuser. Just thought I'd try it out. I have a ladder style in the back. You can kind of see it. So, um, but I was like, I was going to order a diffuser, but I was like, oh, I'll see how this one does. Just using the air stone, so... It actually is, it seems to be working just fine. I do have pressurized CO2 under here, so, which I think that's the way to go. And it's, you know, let's save up a little bit of money and buy that, buy the regulator. I think the regulator I spent was like a hundred bucks. The bottle, I got the bottle on Amazon for like 50, I want to say. And then I just took and traded it. You do a trade-in system, so. Uh, but anyways, I took a lot of plants out of this tank, a lot of floating plants, and put them over here, which I have uh, guppy grass. Big old, got a bunch of it in here. I took a lot of that out, and I hope the crawdads just eat it. Uh, and I still left some in the tank so it could grow pretty good. But I really need to get a bigger tank to put all these plants in. <laughs> Hoping soon, maybe the beginning of this year, I can get this tank empty and move my crawdads over to something a little bit different. Then I can use this for my uh, planet tank, or my shrimp tank, or even this one. I'd be happy with this one being my shrimp tank. My, one of my Germans. I did have a German die the other day, I don't know what happened. Um, I just did a water change today, but a 15 or 20 gallon water change on this. Uh, put an air stone in it. So, we'll see if some of this algae goes away. I really want to get some of those, uh, oh crap, I can't remember the name of it. It's a shrimp. That's gonna drive me nuts. I can't remember the name of it. I'll probably remember later, but um, this particular shrimp that eats all this type of algae. Um, I'm sure there are some shrimp in this tank, but they kind of hide pretty well. I'm sure some of the fish eat them. So, this tank's doing okay. I mean, I kind of wish all of this was back there. Or, sorry, <laughs> I'm not looking at the camera. All of this um, was back there. I'd rather have it back there, but that's okay. One day I'll redo the tank and set stuff up a little different. So, kind of keeping the water flow so it's going this way 
uh, to keep all my water lettuce on the one side. So it kind of gets out of the way of the pump. It kept sticking on my suction of my filter there. So it's doing pretty good. Not too bad. Um, this is my <laughs> my mess. Uh, but uh, I have two sponge filters in here. Um, what I'm doing with this is uh, making some compost tea for outside. So I wash all my filters in here. And I'm keeping the bacteria load up, so when I go to make my compost tea, I have all the beneficial bacteria in the tank to put outside. So that's what I'm doing with this. So all my filters, when I clean them, I clean them in this tank, and I just did one that's why it's kind of murky looking. So, and we're going to be, I got some, the micro K1 coldness. And I'm gonna be today. Actually, I should have probably done it before I did this video. But my my filter, my sand old sand filter there that I used to have sand in right there. Um, I'm gonna put that K1 in it, so I always have some media ready to go for anything I need. And another sad thing: we lost our beta. Or other one, Timmy, or as as I called him, Tim the Enchanter. Um, so I was kind of thinking about this is the the Fluval Spec Five, um, which now they make the Evo, which is a saltwater five gallon, and I thought about converting this one to saltwater. Um, the only thing is, I want to get a RO unit first before I do that, and kind of debating. I, I think I was going to get an RO unit no matter what, but I think I might do that and convert this. I'm going to leave it planted tank for now. I do have some cherry shrimp. There's one right there in here. Um, and assassin snails. I think it might be kind of hard to see, but it's on that, on that leaf right there in the middle. Um, so I'll just probably leave this. I did put some new plants in here. They're it's doing okay. I don't really do much with this tank, so let's kind of let it let it go. Um, but yeah, think about converting it to salt water. So I think that'd be fun. I know it's uh, going to be a little bit more difficult with a smaller tank, but I'm confident I'll be fine with it. I I've been researching it for quite a few years. It's going to be my first tank. I know micro tanks probably not the <laughs> best one to go with, but oh well. I'll uh I'll just do it the way I had planned and uh it's going to be long stretches. It'll take months to get a get it set up and going. I mean, the way I want to do it, I probably won't do any substrate at the bottom of it being a nano tank. But I'll be, I want to make my own rock. Um, if I decide not to, I'll just use dry rock. Um, I don't want to use live rock. It's because all the bad stuff that comes with it. So I'll just get some bacteria to put in it and do a bacteria cycle. Um, but my plan is with salt water is once a month buy an item for the tank. Whether it be a coral or a fish or invertebrates, whatever, something like that. It's going to be like a month in between each of them. Uh, cleanup crew might be a little bit different. Um, I might buy a couple at a time and put in there just to slowly, so it doesn't spike the tank hard. But I want to make sure my water parameters are good and everything like that. So, And the only reason I want to make this reef tank is because how much one of these costs, and I'm like, I want to do something with it. Um, I did think about doing a puffer fish in it, but I'd really like to get into salt water. So uh, that's really it on the updates for now. Um, kind of hoping to get some fruit. I need to check my light cycle on my aquaponics. I don't know if I really said much about this, but this is my more of a trial deal. I wanted to figure everything out, kind of learn some stuff. Um, I have some ideas in the future for setting things up a little bit different. Um, I need some more grow beds for sure. <laughs> um, 
so I want to try to do something for starting seedlings inside for for planting everything outside and I have some ideas for that but I need to do some test runs first um, but I, I want to get more of these beds which I might get probably four of them lined up over there against the wall and then have a small tank maybe like a 30 tall or something like that I'm gonna have to figure out everything but to do my flood and drain with because this one it probably is only about five gallons it fills and drains with me if that uh, so I'll do some testing to figure out how small a tank I can use on on that type of system but, well that's all